Chapter 28 The Bomb The Allied plan of bombing the great cities of the Japanese mainland had continued all through our invasion of Okinawa. From high in the sky, B-29s dropped thousands of tons of high explosives on every Japanese city. Tokyo itself was completely destroyed in a giant firestorm. In July of 1945, Emperor Hirohito sent a letter to the Supreme Military Council urging them to seek peace. They ignored his message. Then, on August 6, 1945, a plane took off from the airbase on Saipan. It carried American secret weapon, a single atomic bomb. When that bomb fell on Hiroshima, it destroyed the whole city. Over 70,000 people died. Two days later, a second plane took off from Tinian and dropped a second atomic bomb on Nagasaki. Until then, Emperor Hirohito had not spoken directly in the Supreme Council, but this news was too much for him. He went to the council in person. I swallow my own tears, he said, and give my sanction to the Allied proposal. Although the Japanese emperor was ready to offer unconditional surrender, not all of the military officers agreed. There was even an attempted coup, but it failed. Finally, on August 15, Emperor Hirohito spoke over the radio to the Japanese people, telling them that Japan was surrendering. It was a shock to those people in many ways, grandchildren. None of them had ever expected to personally hear their emperor. Remember that Hirohito was a distant god to them. They had never heard a god's voice before. Of course, we code talkers were the first to receive the message that Japan had surrendered. It came over division radio early that night. Emperor Hirohito was asking for peace terms. I was so excited that I stood up and started shouting. Several of us Navajos were there by the radio, and we could hardly believe it. I stuck my head out of the tent. War is over, I shouted to the other Marines. Japan is surrendering. Then we Navajos tore off our shirts and began dancing around. We headed right for the bandsmen's tents, where we liberated some of their little drums. Each one of us code talkers grabbed a drum, and we went dancing down the road, beating on those drums, yelling and singing in Navajo. Some of the other Marines who watched us shook their heads, while others joined in or celebrated in their own way. I think everyone had a smile on his face. How happy we all were. One minute, we had all been at war, and then the next, it was over. There would be no more killing. I would be able to return to my beloved home. Ah, that was such a good night, grandchildren.